one share. You get so my music is not limited. It's not limited. That's why I'm always collaborating. Right now, like I'm, I'm, I'm collaborating with a lot of artists. I have Nigerians, I have Zambians, I have Americans. Like, like, like you see the, the song I did with, 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 with two Americans, no, with, with an American. Uh, let, let it shine. shine. Yes, let it shine. What's up, people? Sean again. Welcome to the Nuve Live podcast, and I'm Nuve Sean, your host. Yeah, on the show today, I do have. Uh, I, I should say friend of mine because we've been in talk like for a long time. I don't know if five years is long enough, but uh, yeah, I've been uh, in touch with his brother for a long time. He's reached out to me a number of times. I've reached out to him and um, we've had several conversations on various numerous topics and we meet like on different platforms and events and uh, we discuss a bunch mm-hmm. of things. So today, finally, finally, I got the brother on and um, we'll be discussing a number of things. So ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce and reintroduce Uncle Wade. <laughs> Uncle Wade. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yo, it's Wade uh, in the building. Wade in the building with Nuve Sean. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what's up. Um... Let's get it. So, um, for most people that might not know how long like you've been around, because uh, the first time like you reached out to me, that that was I think the self self esteem days on that project, and then you had um, they talk a lot, 2015, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, around 2015, 2014 there, <laughs> around that time, 2015. Yeah. Yeah, uh, 20, 20, 14, yeah, around that. I, I think actually recall it was it achievers and believers. I don't remember the tape exactly, but that's no, pretty I, much there. Twenty fifteen was it was it was self esteem. Oh yeah, self esteem. The album. Yeah. That means I I have my facts right. <laughs> so yeah, self esteem, achievers and believers was around 2013, 2014, oh, like there. Oh, yeah. Pretty yeah. Sure. So um yeah. for those listening for those listening <clears throat> actually uh what, what I'm trying to arrive at is that you've been around and your catalog is really rich and huge because um if I off head I think you have um about um like five solid projects out there in terms of full length mixtapes and albums. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh it, it's quite a lot of <laughs> a lot of <laughs> songs, man. Quite quite a lot of songs, man. Like, hey, hey, I can't even. I don't I don't know how to say, it, but man, it's it's, it's a quite a lot of a uh, lot of stuff, projects yeah. like albums, EPs, mixtapes, um, singles. Man, it's a lot. And you know, one of my favorite, I think I've always reached, reached out to you and to let you know, uh, the synesthetic tape. Synesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I, I don't know why I, I, I connect to it a lot, but I, I, I like, I loved it from, for me, just being a mixtape, but I felt you were giving, giving us a lot of content and, you know, probably people aren't paying that much attention, but. Personally, I, I love that project and it, it got me hooked on to you, to you, uh, uh, your, 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 like your music for a long time. And I, I, I don't know, probably that's the reason we, we still, we have even this conversation because I've paid attention to you for <laughs> quite, quite Thank a long you, time. Man. Thank you, man. So, I appreciate it. Actually, the synesthetic, the synesthetic mixtape, man, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those that I really, I like, I like, however, like you know, being that it's a it's a project that I did in the times when I was still learning production, like yeah. you know, trying to figure out things on my own and stuff like that. Like yeah, it's a it's a good project, but like comparing it to what what I have right now, mm. yeah, it's okay. Yeah, but I I like I like the project as well, man. I like the project as well because I was 
you know, I was trying trying a lot of stuff, right? like trying a lot of stuff, experimenting and producing, and you know, uh, yeah. The, the the part that I like about it is that you were actually very honest on that project. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah, know, for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if, if I listen to the project and I notice that the person is actually so honest about like, he, he's, he's not trying to say he's the best out there, but he's, he's presenting you to a project that you should listen to and uh, figure out whether he's the best. And then he's also trying to say, you know what, I, I can talk about these things. Very few people talk about them. I look at a project like Bagala Alin, I think, you know, do for you. Uh, then, then there is that other melodic uh, song. The title. This, the same way I'm talking about my brother and whatever and my sister, things like that, yeah. right? Yeah. Hey, yo. Hey, man. Uh, it seems it, it seems you've been man you've been you've been watching everything man. Um, that's that's why New Life was founded, you know. Mm. <laughs> it's I'm the so, story I'm so I glad, really, man. So it's the story I really, I really talk about, but uh, the 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 new the new in New Vey was to you know bring out whatever was new for especially the the young and and un, un, underappreciated. Uh, uh, so which, which I feel is what we are going to talk about later because your your yes, forthcoming man. album <laughs> uh, is, is on that part. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, bring it on, man! Bring it on! Bring right. so, uh, it how has, on! So, how has the journey been before we dive into you? You drop uh, believers and achievers, self esteem. You drop. Um, synesthetic you drop uh roots the album yes. um then you drop uh, some two eps in between their loyalty i think oh, open curtains there's open, open curtains, curtains. Oh. yes and then i think the loyalty. Last, the I, I did uh, no no i did emotional emotional rather sorry yeah yeah emotional that that, that, that was an album Emotional. Then from emotional, I was supposed to drop a mixtape. Okay, I was supposed to drop a mixtape. It was called Vibes. It had like 19 songs, and I did not. Okay, then I dropped Pest Control. Pest Control. Yeah, Pest Control. So now from Pest Control, I dropped singles. Uh, so now I feel like it's time for an album. Okay. Um... Yeah. If, a very dope album. Um, I'm psyched for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I was trying to say, so how, how's the journey like been like being being a Christian rapper, contemporary, uh, gospel artist? You know, I I usually do not like to to box what uh, an artist can do, but how has the journey been like? Man. Uh... <clears throat> I can't lie about that, man. The journey has been tough and it's still tough. So like from, uh, from, from going to people's studios, buying equipment and start uh, time, like it's been something that I would say like hectic, like, you know, like learning, uh, putting projects together. Uh, sometimes, you know, the, 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 the feedback is not good. Like, like a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff that, that has been happening since I started. So the journey hasn't been so, so good, man. I'll be honest with you, man. It hasn't been so good because you reach a level where, man, you feel like you're unappreciated, man. Like you're, you're <laughs> like, you're doing, you're putting in a lot, you're pushing a lot. So I won't say the journey has been has been so so smooth, man. Because even right now, man, just grinding, bro. Grinding. Yeah. 
platforms like Nuva Live are out here to, you know, to, to support, to, to push the people, the unappreciated, you know, to, to mm. keep the conversation going. And, and um, I, get, I get what you're saying. Uh, uh, literally, the whole industry, if I, if I should say, is dead, but alive. You know, like it's dead but living. They, you know, there is, there is every, each, each and every person's struggle. And, and I, I feel like amidst all this grind, I think there are things that you have, um, you know, probably achieved or understood, even known better. Because every, uh, the other week I was speaking to Jesse Bionjo and he told me the independent route. Actually, everyone in Uganda is practically independent. There are very few that are on the label and we are all practically yeah. independent and everything yeah. is blood, sweat and tears, you know? And mm. So uh, uh, the question I'm trying to say, uh, is, is there something that you, you know, you figured out from the grind itself? Like, you know, where you can say probably I've achieved this, I've learned this because I didn't have this. Uh, I, I'll give you my story and I think I've already told you a number of times. When I was starting out, you know, trying to push projects, no one was pushing me. So, and I put my resources together and then I'm like, you know what, let me start up something like this that I can push to the people, you know? I don't know if there are some, some moments where you say, you know, I wouldn't be up to this point if I, I got everything easy. I don't know if I should put the question that way. <laughs> man, I just I just wish everything was easy, man. I just wish everything was easy. But let me tell you this: like the grind teaches you uh, uh, lots of tricks and how to maneuver through the hardships of this music. You get like at first I never knew anything about production, okay? Yeah. But I, but I always. I had things that I felt I should put in my songs mm -hmm. and the producers couldn't do the things that I wanted, like things that I failed to put in the song, you get? So mm -hmm. the grind helped me to realize that I can actually learn how to make music, okay? I can do it because first of all, the fees, the studio fees were expensive. You get expensive. And uh, like me, I always like, I always went to studio to pour out my heart and I always needed a lot of time like to make sure the project is done. But I was <laughs> like, they used to give me a few like, like, like little time to work on the projects and stuff like that. So. The grind taught me to do things, like to, to, to figure out things on my own. Like it has told me to figure things out on my own because I realized in, the, in this industry, like nobody can help you unless, like if you, if you don't help yourself, you get. So another thing I learned is that, I learned that is that, man, you can't expect to drop a song and then everyone is going to like you, like it's going to like you going to like what you what you dropped it's going to just flood on your staff so i think the hustling has helped me and is shaping me that if at one point i break out okay eh, or like i break out and whatever like i'll be strong like i'll be prepared for anything you get I've been rejected, yeah. like I've been rejected. People have been, I've said like, okay, I've received bad comments about the stuff, like, you know, the grind, uh, people, like, you know, a lot of stuff, man. Like, you, you know what goes around the music. So yeah, I do. disappointed, like, I've tried to reach out to the bigger artists and then I'm disappointed, like reach out to producers and I'm disappointed. So like, these things, have taught me and they're teaching me that like not that not that everyone is is there like is there for you man like you have to be there for yourself you have to work at it put out put yourself out there man 
it doesn't matter how many projects because because like you, you see you see what, like when I was starting I thought it was all about producing music and record and put it out there I record put it out there and then like and then <laughs> then you get struck by anxiety depression and all that stuff you get so yeah. this hustle has told me patience okay patience working hard uh, put things together uh, make money, put a small studio, create, reach out to people, be patient. So I think I'm thankful for that. However, I would like to be, I, I, I would have liked it to be very easy, man, like very easy, for, you know, to break out and things like that. But I know it's teaching me, man, it's teaching me. Yeah. And I'm still learning. Right. Yeah. Um, that's 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 dope. Um, I, I mean, the grind pays eventually. I, I I know that that sounds cliche, but with with due time, um, the grind definitely has to pay because everything like you've summed up, I think, is for everyone who, for lack of a better word, ignorant about the industry, might have gone through. Because when you start out, you think everything is straightforward, and then until you realize you're like, wait, this, this is a, a jungle. I, I, I have to, you know, network. I have to reach out to people, send out emails. And, and you know, I've been doing the Better Creative series, trying to talk about yeah. these things because I've lived the journey. Like I've, I've gone through all these things. Like I've seen them. Uh, mm. I've, I, mm. I go from the guy who was trying to be out there to the guy who's behind and li listening and receiving the content that is sent by, you know, their artists. And like I mentioned, yeah. I'm, I'm always in shock when so many people make the mistakes that most of us have, you know. Uh, yeah. the ne yeah. Next week, I'm going to be having a conversation with um, LP of uh, Lyrical Proof. Right now- Lyrical Proof, a, yeah. yeah. Lyrical right now, Proof. He's a business manager at uh, Swan. And, but these are the people oh. we looked out for, you know, all those days and they made their mistakes. We learned from them and I'll, I'll have him on the, on the podcast so that, you know, we talk about ABCD. And that's, that's the reason why, you know, I set up this platform. Though sometimes, you know, you feel like giving up pushing the people and then, you know, this is just a noble job. Some of us are passionate out of it. The, the good things that we get out, out of, you know, this grind, we thank God, but the passion is, you know, trying to lift up everyone. And I don't know if I'm saying too much, but exactly what you say. And, and if I asked you what advice do you give anyone starting out, I think you already gave it to me in your experience. Yes. Thank you. Thank All you. All right. Um, and I know you, you, you got to keep going and we out, the, out, out here, to, you know, to push you. So let, let's move on to um, the, the latest uh, single that is out, Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Let me sample you a little bit, you guys. Oh, all good, bro. Yeah. Can you hear it? Can, can you hear it? Yeah, turn it up a bit. Yeah. So on, eh? I'm back. Right. <laughs> Uncle Wayne, you know what's up? You not say, hey, I ain't got to worry like Baby Jesus. God on my side like Baby Jesus. Wise man on my right, Baby Jesus. I'm a star, I'm a star, Baby Jesus. I ain't got to worry like Baby Jesus. God on my side. Like Debbie Jesus, white man on my right. Debbie Jesus, I'm a star, I'm a star. Debbie Jesus, like a metric. I'm near 40 feet, yellow, seven bond of the rock game. She says she love my style. I say, what style? She likes the way I ride. I'm not surprised. I'm just a race close to you like a whole spice. The one of God rule me like a next race. It's enough to see the eight. I'm the rain cousin, new song alert. You keep the streets talking. I think I lost it. 
I'm like, what was that? You see the sleep bay? I'm the medication. Bar after bar, I make it more clean. You don't need homo to have it so clean. I'm the same like Paul and I kill A. I'm predictable like the weather, baby. I'm being through the wire like Kanye West. They said it best yet to come. I'm the one, baby. I ain't got to worry like baby Jesus. Died on my side like baby Jesus. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's that's okay. the vinyl thing, man. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I've checked it out. That's a dope song right there. Um, Thank you, man. I I I, I was wondering whether it's going to be like Gaius, because Gaius also had another feel. <laughs> <laughs> You know that whole dancehall kind of, you know, Afrobeat kind of. Vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lenga It's a dope one. You know, Lenga song was like an experiment, an experimental project. Yeah. Right. Talk about the new single. The current single, the current single is uh, "Baby Jesus" featuring Paul Payne from Zambia. Uh, Paul Payne is a Zambian artist, like a hardworking Zambian artist, and we've been friends for. A long time, like since 2015, 2014, around there. So uh, he's a, a graphic designer and all that. But we've normally talked about working and all along we've been talking about making music, but the times were not right because he was busy doing other stuff, working on his projects. I was busy trying to figure things out as a producer and as an artist and then the side works, you know, the hustle. So a month ago, we thought we thought of doing the project together because he was free and I was also free like and we're like, yo, let's let's make some music together because it's been a long time coming. And yeah, one night in the studio I was making a beat and I liked the vibe. Uh, I dropped a hook on it. Uh, but the inspiration, basically, uh, the song was just trying, was just like me, me feeling free, like feeling free, uh, like because when I look back at my life, I see a big difference, like a big difference. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I'm able to make music without, like, without being on pressure. No without pressure. stressing, yeah, without stressing and all, like, I feel like, it's, like, it's, instead you're applying the pressure. <laughs> yes, I'm applying the pressure, like, I feel like I can produce any song that I want, I feel like I, I can, you know, I can make any song that I want right now, and I feel like a star already, like, in me, I feel like I'm great, that's like, no lie, yeah, we ended up with a Baby Jesus song, man, yeah. Mm -hmm. But simply, the song is 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 a uh, is a uh, is metaphorically talking about the life of Jesus. <laughs> you get, yeah. That the talk the song talks about the life of Jesus. It says like you know what I say. I ain't got no worries like baby Jesus. God on my side like baby like Jesus. Baby Jesus. Yeah. Yes, wise man on my right like baby Jesus. I'm a star. I'm a star. Like baby Jesus, you know, you know that Jesus Christ was a star. Yeah. <laughs> he was a star yeah. in his times, like for real, he was a star. So when, like, she, she, like me, like being a Christian, Christian hip hop artist, I always want to look like Jesus. You get, I want to, I want my songs to be at least attached to Jesus' life. You get, so the song metaphorically talks about Jesus. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad that the song is out there. And yeah, some people like it. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, uh, earlier on, I was trying to say, uh, like you talk about how uh, collaboration, because I noticed you have several with, uh, I think there was, now there is pay, uh, Paul Payne, but yeah. some years back, you did a project with, I think, another Zambian artist called Marcin. Uh, Marcin, yes. Yeah. 
Yes, yes. Uh, it, it looks like you have a Zambian connect. <laughs> <laughs> those are my brothers, man. Those guys are, man. Yeah, I like, I like those guys. I like those guys. Like, actually, they're, man, they help me out because, yeah, they help me to share, like, by, like in sharing their music. Uh, the Zambian people, because I have, I have, I have, I have a few fans that side man. I have some fans in Zambia actually. I have people who listen to my stuff there. Yeah, which, which is dope. You know, you're not trying to limit your reach within here. Of course, of course, man. And, and, that's that's not. And and as the scripture says, uh, the prophet is never loved from where. Is from you know the home until yes exactly the, the edited exactly. version sounds like this until he probably blows up out there and then <laughs> true 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 you see yeah. you see Sean yeah. like my target my target is not it's not only Uganda man it's just the world you get I just want the yeah. world I want the earth like I just like like every time I'm making music. Or making a song, I'm not looking at only Uganda. You get, I'm not looking at only Uganda. I'm looking at a vast variety of people, like a big, bigger, bigger picture, sir. Because due to the the presence of the internet, I realized that you can reach a million people with just mm. one click, one share. You get. So my music is not limited. It's not limited. That's why I'm always collaborating. Right now, like I'm, I'm, I'm collaborating with a lot of artists. I have Nigerians, I have Zambians, I have Americans. Like, like, like you see uh, the song I did with, uh, with, with two Americans. No, with, with an American. Uh, let, let it shine. shine. Yes, let it shine. That, uh, that brother right there. It's called Aaron Page. Yeah, and then I have a song with a. Uh, with the Sami, Sami Smiles, Ugandan but best in, in America. Yeah. So I'm trying to, you know, to spread the wings out. You know, I never, I, I, I used not like, I wasn't used with the collaborations, man. Like, you know, but yeah. I realized, man, the more you collaborate, the more you tap into different audiences, the more people get to know about you and, you know, things like that. And that game right there, that game for free, these this young uh, artists <laughs> should, yeah? should know this. That's game, like you're kicking knowledge right there. <laughs> yes, 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 yeah. bro. That's, that, that's, that's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. You have to, to, like, for example, like, I'm not a big artist. You get. So all I do is look for other artists who are like me out there. Like, we grow together. Yeah, get. strength in numbers. Yes, we grow together. Like any time that artist can hit, can be a big artist over there. Anytime. <laughs>